I got the initial idea for Wake through a dream that I had. I dreamt that I was in my husband's dream and watching what he was dreaming about. And when I woke up, I thought, hey, there's a real story here. So I wrote it down and kind of stewed on the idea for about 30 days or so. Then I just started writing. I think paranormal powers are a really hot topic today because secretly everybody wants to be special. I think everybody would really love to have a little extra power that nobody else has. And they would love to be a hero. Everybody kind of wants to be a hero. I think a reader can be that hero vicariously through a book character. This branch of paranormal that I write in is different from a lot of other paranormal stuff. I mean, you've got your vampire paranormal, but this is different. This is more like a special power. She's very ordinary, but she has this ability. And I think a lot of people can really relate to wanting that in their lives. Janie has a lot of serious issues in her life that are in addition to her dreams. Her mother's an alcoholic. She's not very popular at school. She's got some trouble with boys. I think teens can really relate to Janie because of her issues that she has that are very normal and very common. I sometimes think I am a teen. I sure feel like it a lot of times. So writing authentically in a teen voice comes fairly easy to me. I think a lot of writing in a teen voice means you have to go back in time to when you were a teen, and you really get a chance to think about all those emotions. And those things haven't changed. Emotions, that feeling, that broken heart, the feeling you get in the pit of your stomach when something embarrassing or terrible that's happening to you. So I think a lot of writing authentically for teens is remembering what it was like to be a teen. But also, whenever I talk to students at schools, I like to ask them, what's the latest slang words that you're using? And usually they chuckle a little bit and they don't want to tell me. But I can get them to talk to me a little bit. And then once we get rolling, they really enjoy that. They really love to tell me what words they're using now. And and I also have a 14-year-old son, so that helps tremendously. My advice for young writers is to continue writing. Just write for years if you can. The more you write, the better you're going to get. And I highly suggest writing short stories and just perfecting those first. Uh, Once you've got the short stories written and published, get a few of them published in online magazines or print magazines, then it's time to tackle the novel. I see a lot of teenagers who are writing a novel, and I think that's really great. But don't let that be your only novel you ever write. Don't get so discouraged if it doesn't make it that you never write again.